Thank you, Danielle. The CDC issued a nationwide health alert after a mysterious outbreak of hepatitis in children. As cases of now have been identified in six U.S. states, at least four of the children required a liver transplant and one child has reportedly died from liver failure. News 19's Archie Snowden has been following this story and has the latest. Okay, thank you, Greg. Now, health, health, health officials around the world have been on the march to try to find anything in common with these cases, but health experts around the world agree that this one may be just too hard to explain. Now, the CDC reported that, that one child has died in Wisconsin, and health officials are now worried that this is indeed may be an outbreak. What makes this even more difficult to determine is that the children are now nowhere near each other or connected to one another. Delaware, New York, Illinois, North Carolina, Wisconsin, and the nine cases reported here in Alabama. Doctors have found nine children, the nine children in Alabama with acute hepatitis who were previously healthy but had been diagnosed with the adenovirus, which is associated with the common cold, but doctors admittedly are at, at a, a big loss. I never thought I was going to face something like this. Um, I mean, when you go into pediatrics, um, yes, you're going to see sick kids, but and, and you know it's going to happen, but um, you know, not these often within our specialty, we see these events of acute liver failure or acute hepatitis really close to each other. Now, Dr. Gutierrez said that, that acute hepatitis is often caused by contamination in food, but none of that has been connected to any of these cases. 20 cases have been reported in the United States, and the CDC continues to investigate. For now, we're live in Huntsville, Archie Snowden, News 19.